welcome back student in this video we are going to discuss the equation of straight line we are going to discuss the equations of straight line see equation of straight line we can represent in different forms we can represent in different forms for example i am having a straight line like this i am having a straight line like this you know that very well this is the theta correct the angle and when we have theta we can define the slope we can define the slope as m this is called y intercept this length i am going to define or i am going to assume as c this is called y intercept i am going to take the value as c using this we are going to define the first idea called slope intercept form we are going to define the first idea called slope intercept form here we are going to define the equation as y equal this is nothing but mx plus c we are going to define the equation of straight line in slope intercept form as y equal mx plus c mx plus c understand the concept see for example find the equation of the straight line whose slope am is minus 2 by 3 and y intercept is for example find the equation of the straight line whose slope m is minus 2 by 3 and y intercept is 5 here i am having slope the value of slope m is minus 2 by 3 the value of y intercept we are going to take this as c this is given as y that means i am having slope on y intercept our equation will be of the form y equal mx plus So this is equal y equal in place of m I am going to take minus two by three this is x in place of c I am going to take y here I am having three so I am going to multiply by three this will become three y equal this is minus two y plus this is fifteen I am going to take all the values to one side so when i take minus 2a it will become plus 2a plus 3y minus 15 equal 0 so the basic idea i am going to check what form it is here it is given slope on y intercept the rule is y equal mx plus c so in place of m i am going to take value of m and value of c and then we are going to simplify then we are going to simplify this is called slope intercept form this is called slope intercept form in the same idea we are having different forms the next form
the next form is called point slope form the next idea is called point slope form see here for example they have given a point p x1 y1 you are having a point p x1 y1 we are having the slope m Here they have given the slope m, and they have instead of c, here they are giving the point p x1 y1. They have given the point p x1 y1. So how to find the equation of this straight line? How to find the equation of this straight line? We are going to define the form equation. We are going to define the equation. This is nothing but y minus y1 equal m into x minus x1. We are going to define the equation as y minus y1 equal m into x minus x1. This is called point slope form. This is called point slope form. Shall we discuss a problem in this? find the equation of the straight line which passes through the point which passes through the point P, 2 comma minus 3 and having slope minus 5, having slope minus 5, find the equation of the straight line which passes through the point P, 2 comma minus 3 and having slope minus here we are having point and we are having slope. So my point, I am going to take P 2 comma minus 3 and I am going to take the slope M equal minus 5. Point P 2 comma minus 3 and slope M minus 5. Now I am going to apply the rule our formula of the equation we have given y minus y1 equal m into x minus x1 I am going to take this point as x1 y1 and this is slope m1 so in place of x1 and y1 I am going to substitute the values this is y minus into minus this will become plus 3 minus into minus will become plus 3 the value of slope m is minus 5 this is x minus 2 I am going to simplify this this is y plus 3 equal minus 5x plus then I am going to multiply minus 5 inside so this will become minus 5x plus 10 I am going to take all the values to one side so minus 5x this will become plus 5x this is plus y. When I can bring the strain opposite side, this is minus 10. So minus 7 equal 0. So the basic principle, the point P is given, slope M is given. I am going to take them as x1, y1 and slope as M. So I am going to take the equation y minus y1 equal M into x minus x1. In place of x1 and y1, I am going to substitute the point and I am going to simplify this. I am going to simplify this. In this idea, we are having different form. In the next video, we are going to discuss the other two forms. We are going to discuss the other two forms.